Thank you so much, Dr. McClenny, and God bless each of you for being here for a righteous cause. You know, as I walk up those worn stone steps every day to go vote, and I look at that dome, and I see what that dome stands for. Freedom, liberty, opportunity. And the world looks to that dome. They look to America to sustain those freedoms, particularly the freedom to worship. Our founding fathers came to this great country for the principle of the freedom to worship. They came here and they began Christian institutions. 100 of the first 119 schools, colleges and universities that started were Christian colleges and universities. That was the heritage that we have. And we've been clipping coupons by what was left by our founding fathers. And today we have that responsibility to make sure that the world knows that America stands for principle and for truth. 1989, I had the privilege of going to the Soviet Union with Frank Wolf, a great statesman for Christ. We went there for the purpose of seeking the release of 119 prisoners of conscience, most of them religious prisoners, from prison. With the ability which we were able to gain of distributing three million Bibles, we were told that the, the country was open. It was gl Glasnost and Perestroika. And we began to see a difference. In, but because of the boldness and the commitment of Frank Wolf and a fine member of parliament named David Amos, Jack Matlock was the ambassador of, for the United States at our embassy there. And they put on a tremendous presentation declaring that, as Frank said, these freedoms are not Democrat, they're not Republican, they're not liberal, they're not conservative. They're the principles by which we live by and are shared by all Americans. So we join you in this crusade, in this commitment to sustain the lives of those who live in the bondage of persecution. The psalmist reminds us in Psalm 116.15, the precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Yes, we're grateful for those who stood strongly and boldly for Christ, who have lived their lives in front of him. At the same time, it's our accountability and responsibility to go out there and speak for them, those who cannot speak for themselves. As I work with my friends in China and other parts of the world, they work under tremendous, severe punishment for their faith. Their crosses are torn down in their churches. I've written... I've spoken, I've met with the Chinese leadership when I go there and when I'm with them here. And we'll continue to present the cause of Christ to them. So I thank you for your work for IDC, for the ability that we've had to pass the concurrent resolution 75, which I fully supported and, and co-sponsored. Uh, we need to continue that work. And so I join you as a brother and sister in Christ, knowing that together as we stand for him, the Lord will be faithful, for the battle is not ours, but his. Thank you, and God bless you.